students how are you all i hope you all are fine and staying at home so today i miss deepthi from shrama bharti public school is going to take your science class today we will continue with our chapter number 1 plant reproduction today we will study how we can obtain new plants from the plant parts like from the plant parts example from stem from roots or from leaves how we can obtain new plants so let's get started with our today's class chapter number 1 plant reproduction fine plant reproduction so before proceeding further few points to remember what we have learned till now fine so first point most plants most plants bear flowers okay so most pla plants have flowers and that is why they are called as flowering plants okay simple those plants which have flowers are called as flowering plants fine second point flowers flowers develop develop into fruits okay flowers develop into fruits fine by the method of sexual reproduction fine ovary will be converted to fruit and the ovules will be converted to seed this you will study in deep later on then third point a fruit has one or more seeds fine a fruit can have one seed or it can have many seeds if one seed like we can see the example of mango and if we talk about more seeds so you can take the example of papaya clear fourth point which we have already done a seed can grow into a new plant remember a seed can grow remember a seed can grow into a new plant but here but is there but only and only when it reaches the soil it reaches the soil and gets enough water air warmth or sunlight clear this we have already done now let's get started with our new topic new plants new plants can be produced can be produced from 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 seeds this we have done now we will be studying from roots from stem from leaves firstly we will cover this now let's get started with this now here comes one term vegetative 
propagation and somewhere it is written vegetative reproduction also now if i have written the term reproduction so we should be knowing first of all what is the production right what is this see reproduction means it is a biological process by which new offsprings remember new offsprings or you can say new plants or springs are produced are produced from their parents fine from their parents now what we will call vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction now these both the terms now in this in this term it says new plants new plants are formed are formed from the roots stem or leaves by using by using different methods different methods like cutting you can say stem cutting in rows then is layering in jasmine or you can say grafting and at last tissue culture so we have completed this vegetative propagation now let's start up with plants from roots fine plants from roots now let's get started first of all plants from roots okay roots now some plants some plants form new plants fine from new plants from their roots as these plants store food in their roots and that is why they can grow into new plants now examples these are important from the examination point of view i can ask you like name the plant from which can develop from roots okay so the examples first example is sweet potato sweet potato in hindi we call as shakar gandi second example bread fruit third example is black berry fine now let's move on to the next one plants from stem okay plants from stem now similarly some plants some plants can be grown can be grown from stem cuttings from stem cuttings fine and in this the examples will be examples will be tea sugar cane mint rose jasmine now see what happens in this just imagine this is a plant
fine just imagine this is a rose plant now what we will do we will cut the stem from here from here we will cut the stem and we'll take this part and we'll bury over here put this part inside the soil and this plant part can give rise to a new plant fine now this we have covered plant from roots and plant from stem these examples these examples are important from the examination point of view let's now we have covered stem right now certain plants certain plants can be grown from underground stem also underground stem the foremost example in this category is a potato potato what happens tiny small birds are there just look over here this is a potato small small birds arise we call it as i i small birds arise on the potato and these birds if sown now if these birds or you can see this potato if sown we can cut this potato and sow in the soil the bird it can give rise to a new plant new plant so i'm writing over here in potato in potato tiny birds tiny birds find tiny birds or you can say i develop develop on the potato see it develops in a certain season only find in a certain season these birds these birds if buried into suitable soil fine suitable soil then lead to development into new plant now other examples just look over here this we have covered now other examples in this category can be banana ginger turmeric which can grow in same manner now last but not the least in this part is left as plants from leaves and plants from cones and from spores we will study in the next class okay so let's cover this some plants some plants can be grown can be grown from leaves from leaves now examples in this category will be bryophyllum we will use the term mature leaf fine only on the mature leaf just look over here just imagine this is a leaf of a bryophyllum fine now what happens small small birds arise on this leaf fine and these birds can give rise to a new plant fine other examples in this category can be 
sweet potato also and begonia fine so i am winding my today session by this and we will be proceeding with the reproduction in non flowering plants so goodbye and take care of you all